Our President Joe Biden spoke to U.S. allies today to find ways to better help Ukraine and to strengthen efforts to hold Russia accountable. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. The White House says that President Biden spoke by phone this morning for about an hour and a half with allies from Canada, the UK, France, Japan, and Italy, affirming their solidarity with the Ukrainian people. Later, the president traveled to Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, the very latest in Ukraine. The U.N. says 12 million people have been uprooted by the war in Ukraine. Here, people living out their final days in a hospice had to be evacuated. And as the fighting drags on, the White House says it will continue to rally the world to stand up to Russia's aggression. And that, according to one special advisor, means two things. Number one, increasing the amount of weapons uh, and ammunition and other security assistance that we get into U Ukraine so the Ukrainian military can defend itself. And number two, continue to impose costs on Russia. Russia to, to limit its ability to finance this war and to limit its ability to project power over the long term. Meeting with members of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warns of rising global food insecurity. Early estimates suggest that at least 10 million more people could be pushed into poverty due to higher food prices alone. Later in the day, President Biden visited Portsmouth Harbor in New Hampshire, the state's only deep water harbor. What did you discuss with the allies today about Ukraine? New Hampshire. Really? I'm here to talk about New Hampshire. I understand. It's critically important, as home heating oil, fiber optic cables, and rock gypsum all come through here. The new infrastructure law helping to pay for dredging, making it easier for large ships to navigate, reducing delays that lead to higher costs for consumers. And with the midterms later this year, the president risks losing power in Congress if things don't turn around. The RNC tweeting today, Americans face an unprecedented spike in prices due to Biden inflation, and prices are only going to climb. Also, when the president was in New Hampshire today, when he was walking to his limo, a reporter asked if he will be sending more artillery to Ukraine, and the president answered back, yes. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.